Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, launched a number of helicopters which recently joined uh, this service as part of a number of modern uh, military systems of the BDF, which is in line with the 56th anniversary of the BDF in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by the BDF Commander-in-Chief, uh, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Majesty was accompanied by the National Security Advisor, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Royal Guard Special Force Commander Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The event was attended by a number of their Highnesses, officials, invitees and senior officers. The ceremony began with the national anthem. Salam, Sayyidi Hadrat Sahib Al Jalala, Malik Al Bilad Al Muadab.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المعظم القائد الأعلى للقوات المسلحة حفظكم الله ورعاكم أصحاب السمو والمعالي أصحاب السعادة حفلنا الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نستعيد سنويا ذكرى الخامس من فبراير ذكرى تأسيس قوة دفاع البحرين برؤية جلالتكم أيدكم الله تمضي مسيرة التقدم بخطى واثقة نحو الحفاظ على المكتسبات واستيعاب أحدث المنظومات العسكرية في قوة دفاع البحرين إن خير ما نبدأ به حفلنا هذا After that, verses from the Holy Quran were recited. Muhammad Abdul Aziz Al Shami. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولقد آتينا داود وسليمان علما. وقال الحمد لله الذي فضلنا على كثير من عباده المؤمنين وورث سليمان داود وقال يا أيها الناس علمنا منطق الطير وأوتينا من كل شيء إن هذا له الفضل المبين وحشر لسليمان جنوده من الجن والإنس والطير فهم يوزعون حتى إذا أتوا على واد النمل قالت نملة قالت نملة يا أيها النمل ادخلوا مساكنكم لا يحطمنكم سليمان لا يحطمنكم سليمان وجنوده وهم لا يشعرون فتبسم ضاحكا من قولها وقال رب أوزعني أن أشكر نعمتك التي أنعمت علي وعلى والدي رب أوزعني أن أشكر نعمتك التي أنعمت علي وعلى والدي وأن أعمل صالحا وأن أعمل صالحا ترضاه وأدخلني برحمتك في عبادك الصالحين صدق الله العظيم يتشرف سعادة اللواء الركن طيار الشيخ حمد بن عبد الله آل خليفة قائد سلاح الجو الملكي البحريني After that, the commander of the Royal Bahraini Air Force, Air Vice Marshal Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, delivered a welcoming speech in which he congratulated His Majesty on the occasion and expressed gratitude to His Majesty for the development of the BDF's military march. He expressed pride in His Majesty's launch of the Bahrain Shield project for combat helicopters and congratulated His Majesty on his completion and integration with the existing systems. He added that the project would not have been completed without the support of his Majesty. Sheikh Hamad said that the project was signed by His Royal Highness in 2018 and after five years the system has completed with its defensive operational duty at the peak of combat readiness to operate in all weather conditions. He added that it will represent a qualitative addition that will enable the BDF to face all challenges efficiently. He noted that this system is ready to carry out any duty requested by the BDF's general headquarters. He added that the Royal Bahraini 
Air Force, RBAF, is the first operator of the system outside of the U.S. Sheikh Hamad said that the acquisition of such modern aircraft reflects the firm commitment of the BDF's general headquarters on the importance of continuous modernization of defense systems to keep pace with military developments and advanced technology. He expressed pride and appreciation for the modern and highly efficient systems provided by His Majesty and His Majesty's interest in developing the BDF and the RBAF. He thanked His Royal Highness for his interest in strengthening and developing the capabilities of the RBAF and the BDF Commander-in-Chief for his continuous directives and follow-up of the success of the projects and raising the levels of its forces. He pledged His Majesty to operate the new systems in the best ways possible. After that, Major General Jabir Abdullah Huhuil al Muri and Major Thamr Muhammad Thamr al kabi delivered a poem on the occasion. After that, His Royal Highness presented His Majesty the King with a commemorative gift on the occasion and the BDF Commander-in-Chief also presented His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince with a commemorative gift. نائب القائد لعلى القوات المسلحة رئيس مجلس الوزراء في العام 2018 واليوم وبعد مرور خمس سنوات على التوقيع نتشرف بإعلام جلالتكم بأن هذه المنظومة قد اكتملت الواجب العملياتي الدفاعي وفي قمة الجاهزية القتالية للعمل في جميع الظروف الجوية وسوف تمثل إضافة نوعية تمكننا من مواجهة كافة التحديات بكل كفاءة واقتدار وبعون من الله وتوفيقه فإن هذه المنظومة رهن الإشارة للقيام بأي واجب يطلب من قوة دفاع البحرين علما يا سيدي بأنه بكل فخر فإن سلاح الجو الملك البحريني يعد المشقل الأول من خارج الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية لهذه المنظومة التي تعد من المنظومات الأحدث والأكفى على مستوى العالم كما أن اقتناء مثل هذه الطائرات الحديثة يؤكد على التزام القيادة العام لقوة دفاع البحرين الثابت بأهمية التطوير والتحديث المستمر لمنظومات الدفاع وذلك من أجل مواكبة التطورات العسكرية والتكنولوجيا المتقدمة وبما يخدم دعائم ومرتكزات سلاح الجو الملكي البحريني اسمحوا لي يا سيدي بأن أتقدم إلى مقامكم السامي ونيابة عن منتسب سلاح الجو الملكي البحريني بكل الشكر والفخر والاعتزاز على بما تقدمونه جلالتكم من منظومات حديثة ذات كفاءة عالية والاهتمام الذي تولونه جلالتكم بتطوير قوة دفاع البحرين بصورة عامة وسلاح الجو الملك البحريني بصورة خاصة كما تقدم بعظيم الشكر والامتنان إلى سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى للقوات المسلحة رئيس مجلس الوزراء على اهتمامه الكبير بتعزيز وتطوير قدرات سلاح الجو الملكي البحريني ليصبح سلاحا متميزا في منظوماته وقدراته كما أتقدم بعظيم الشكر إلى سيدي صاحب المعالي القائد العام لقوة دفاع البحرين على توجيهات ومتابعة معاليه المستمرة من أجل إنجاح المشاريع ورفع مستوى السلاح لتمكينه من تحقيق مهامه ووجباته الوطنية بكل عزم وثبات ختاما يا صاحب الجلالة تعجز الكلمات عن وصف مدى فرحة أبناء جلالتكم من منتسب سلاح الجو الملك البحريني على هذا التشريف الغالي وعلى ما تتفضلون به علينا من المنظومات الحديثة والتي نعاهد جلالتكم بأننا سنثابر بكل تفان وعزيمة للحفاظ عليها وتشغيلها أفضل تشغيل مجددين لجلالتكم العهد والولاء والطاعة متعهدين أمام الله سبحانه وتعالى بأن نكون جندكم المخلصين ورهنا لتوجيهات جلالتكم حفظكم الله والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
His Majesty then launched a number of uh, Cobra Z aircraft part of the new project Bahrain Shield, and these aircrafts are one of the most modern and efficient helicopters in the world. The commander of the Royal Bahraini Air Force then presented His Majesty and His Royal Highness with a commemorative gift. After that, a number of officers greeted His Majesty the King. His Majesty praised their efforts and their achievements in serving the kingdom. Then His Majesty opened the project building and unveiled the memorial plaque. His Majesty also held a tour, tour during which he listened to a briefing on the project and its various sections. His Majesty the King extended his deepest congratulations to all BDF affiliates, including commanders, officers, servicemen and all citizens on this national occasion. His Majesty extended appreciation to the efforts of all BDF affiliates to protect Bahrain's civilizational achievements, the security of citizens and the kingdom's unity with all competence and sincere determination as they are the nation's fortified shield. His Majesty the King added that BDF's achievements, distinguished work and good reputation earned the trust of citizens, the GCC countries and brotherly and friendly countries. His Majesty highlighted that Bahrain always seeks to cooperate with its brotherly and friendly countries to achieve security and peace in all the region and the world. His Majesty the King extended thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and the Prime Minister for his attention and support given to the BDF. His Majesty expressed sincere thanks to BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa for his tireless efforts in developing the BDF. His Majesty extended appreciation to the efforts of the BDF elite affiliates since the beginning of the founding phase, noting that their efforts are valuable and respected. His Majesty affirmed that the BDF is raising its glory year after year, stressing that in addition to carrying out its uh, lofty duty to defend uh, the kingdom, its security and its sovereignty, with all courage, the BDF contributed significantly in supporting its comprehensive developmental and civilizational path with all efficiency in many fields. His Majesty highlighted the BDF's role in providing high-quality health services, its great contributions in the field of housing, its distinguished uh, sporting achievements made by its members that raised Bahrain's status internationally in addition to providing humanitarian relief to many brotherly and friendly countries. His Majesty the King noted uh, that the BDF is working hard to organize and participate in international exhibitions including the Bahrain International Air Show since its first launch at the Sakhir Air Base which was established by the BDF. His Majesty praised the role of all Bahrainis, men and women, for their continued keenness to advance their country, pointing out that they are an honorable example of perseverance and solid determination to achieve success. His Majesty the King wished everyone continued success and prosperity. The attendees extended to His Majesty the King congratulations on this national occasion, praising His Majesty's continuous support for the BDF. They prayed to Allah the Almighty to preserve His Majesty to continue his victorious path, which the kingdom is witnessing during the prosperous era of His Majesty in all fields.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in which he congratulated His Majesty on the occasion of the 56th anniversary of the founding of the Bahrain Defence Force. His Royal Highness renewed his pledge and loyalty to His Majesty the King, affirming his constant keenness to implement His Majesty's sound directives regarding developing and strengthening the capabilities of the BDF. He added that the soldiers will continue defending their homeland under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. He wished the homeland continued security and stability. His Majesty sent a reply cable of thanks to His Royal Highness in which he expressed his deep thanks and appreciation and congratulated His Royal Highness on the anniversary. His Majesty praised the qualified trained force armed with the latest weapons and technologies to defend the nation. His Majesty expressed his sincere congratulations and blessings to His Royal Highness and to all members of the BDF including leaders, officers, soldiers and individuals. He recalled the great role of His Royal Highness in strengthening and developing the capabilities of the BDF in a way that enhances its efficiency and readiness and contributed to making many honorable achievements. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of congratulations from National Guard Commander His Highness uh, General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa on the 56th anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. The National Guard Commander extended on behalf of all National Guard personnel sincerest congratulations and loyalty to His Majesty the King, hailing His Majesty's role in establishing the Bahrain Defense Force. His Highness uh, General uh, Sheikh Mohammed wished His Majesty good health and happiness to achieve further developments for the homeland and for the BDF. BDF. His Majesty sent a reply cable of thanks to National Guard Commander expressing his pride in the pivotal national role played by the BDF to defend uh, the nation alongside with the National Guard and all armed forces in the kingdom being the nation's protective shield. His Majesty praised His Highness's role in serving the nation, protecting its gains and maintaining its security. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of congratulations from the Royal Court Affairs Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the 56th anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. His Highness expresses deep pride in what the BDF has achieved thanks to His Majesty, who established this fortress to protect the homeland and its gains. His Highness praised the high level that the BDF has reached in terms of competence and advanced military readiness and training and armament, enabling it to face various challenges at the regional level. He highlighted the high level of BDF's combat and administrative readiness thanks to the great attention and unlimited support of His Majesty the King. His Highness wished the BDF and its affiliates continued progress and development. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of congratulations from the Special Representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, on the 56th anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. His Highness stressed that uh, this anniversary will remain a source of pride and honor due to its pivotal role in protecting the nation, enhancing its security and stability, preserving its civilizational achievements, and supporting its development path thanks to the support and care it has received from His Majesty the King since its founding. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the 56th anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. The BDF Commander in Chief extended, on behalf of all BDF personnel, sincerest congratulations and loyalty to His Majesty the King, which falls on February 5th, hailing His Majesty the King's role in establishing the Bahrain Defense Force. He reiterated the BDF's uh, personal or personnel's loyalty to His Majesty the King and uh, their pledge to exert more efforts in defending the nation and ensuring its prosperity. His Majesty sent a cable of thanks uh, to the BDF Commander-in-Chief expressing pride in the pivotal national role played by the BDF to defend the nation, being the nation's protective shield of the homeland. He extended sincere congratulations to the BDF Commander-in-Chief and affiliates, including commanders, officers and servicemen, and praised uh, their dedication to serving the nation under various circumstances. His Majesty affirmed that the BDF will always remain a priority to continue achieving his goals to preserve the security of the kingdom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of congratulations from the advisor to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and uh, Prime Minister His Highness uh, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the 56th anniversary of the founding of the Bahrain Defense Force. He expressed great pride in the honorable level that the BDF has reached in terms of competence and readiness to carry out its national role in protecting national gains and achievements thanks to the support and care of His Majesty the King. 
His Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghadibiya Palace to mark the 56th anniversary of the establishment of the BD or the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF. The cabinet commended the accomplishments of uh, the BDF, noting its uh, combat readiness and military capabilities, which have been further developed thanks to the unwavering support of the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The cabinet wished Bahrain, the BDF, and its personnel further progress and Prosperity. The cabinet also welcomed the return of professional golfing to the Kingdom of Bahrain, highlighting the success of the first edition of the Bahrain Championship presented by Babco Energies and hosted under the patronage of His Majesty the King. The competition brought together a lineup of international golfers who are part of the DP World Tour. In recognition of the forthcoming Bahrain Sports Day, the cabinet declared that Thursday the 22nd of February 2024 will be a half a working day allowing ministries, government departments and public institutions to allow their employees to participate in the annual Sports Day event. The cabinet then congratulated the winners of the 50th edition of the Bahrain Annual Fine Arts Exhibition, noting the kingdom's ongoing commitment to initiatives that enhance the contributions of Bahraini artists in consolidating the kingdom's position in the fine arts. The cabinet discussed uh, several memorandums and approved the following. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Finance and National Economy regarding the, the preliminary estimate of uh, the future generations reserve for 2023, which reflects the efficiency of the reserves investment policy. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft law ratifying an agreement that encourages and protects investments. The memorandum also included a draft law ratifying an agreement to eliminate double taxation regarding income taxes and preventing tax evasion and avoidance between the government of Bahrain and the government of the UAE. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft decree naming the administrative authority and the minister responsible for implementing the provisions of laws regarding the protection of copyright and other related rights. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft decision on sanitation and surface water or surface water drainage services. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs regarding the ongoing preparations for the upcoming Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council meeting. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs and the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Education and Training Quality Authority on the Authority's Review Framework Proposal. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to two proposals and two laws submitted by the Representatives Council. The Cabinet then reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning regarding the third edition of the Housing Finance Exhibition, which is scheduled to be held in February, and the launch of the Beitie Real Estate Platform. In addition, the Cabinet noted the following ministerial reports. Outcomes of Bahrain's participation in the two extraordinary ministerial-level meetings of the Arab League Council. 
Outcomes of Bahrain's participation in the 19th Non-Aligned Movement Summit. Outcomes of Bahrain's participation in the Group of 77 and Chinese Third South Summit. Outcomes of the Minister of Foreign Affairs visit to Hungary. Outcomes of Bahrain's participation in the 37th meeting of the Executive Committee of the Regional Organization for the Protection of the Marine Environment. Outcomes of Bahrain's participation in the Global Gateway Investors Forum for EU Central Asia Transport Connectivity. His Royal Highness said the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa on the 56th anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. His Highness affirmed that the support of His Royal Highness was contributed to the or has contributed to the advanced development of the BDF in its combat readiness and military capabilities led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. His Royal Highness sent a cable of thanks to His Highness uh, General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa, commending the efforts of the National Guard commander and personnel for their efforts in safeguarding and serving the kingdom. His Royal Highness uh, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, received a cable of congratulations from the Minister of the Royal Court Affairs, His Highness uh, Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the 56th anniversary of the establishment of the Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF. His Highness uh, Sheikh Ali bin Isa expressed pride in the level of development achieved by the BDF under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, highlighting His Majesty's role in establishing the BDF, which has continued continued to demonstrate his commitment to safeguarding the kingdom and its achievements. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa commended the ongoing support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister for the development of the BDF which has contributed to enhancing its capabilities to fulfilling its duties. His Royal Highness said the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable congratulation from His Majesty's Special Representative, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, on the 56th anniversary of the establishment of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak expressed pride in the advanced level of development and combat readiness achieved by the BDF and a significant role in safeguarding the country and its sovereignty under the leadership of the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, His Majesty King Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, and with the following up of the Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Commander-in-Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the 56th anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. Field Marshal expressed uh, the BDF's pride in the Royal Directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which aims to build on the Kingdom's military achievements. His Royal Highness sent a cable of thanks to the Field Marshal uh, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed, commending his dedicated efforts and all BDF personnel to further strengthening the BDF's combat readiness and its efforts in safeguarding Bahrain's sovereignty, security and stability. His Royal Highness noted that the support of His Majesty the King to the BDF has fostered the development of its capabilities and readiness resulting in a highly equipped force with the latest military and technological advancements. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the advisor to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa on the 56th anniversary of the establishment of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa highlighted the ongoing support of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister for the BDF under the leadership of uh, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which has contributed to advancing the military capabilities of the BDF. The Representative's Council Speaker Ahmed Limsalam expressed pride in the high status achieved by the Bahrain Defense Force on the occasion of the 56th anniversary of its founding. He praised the level of the BDF's advanced military and defense readiness thanks to the support and directors of His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. He also emphasized the vital role played by the BDF in defending the security of the nation and citizens protecting its achievements and preserving its gains and capabilities. Limsalam congratulated the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and the Minister of Defense Affairs Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan al Naimi and all BDF members on the occasion.
The Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh affirmed that the Bahrain Defense Force has become a powerful edifice and shield that defends the nation and protects its civilizational achievements on the occasion of the 56th anniversary of the BDF. As Saleh praised the role of the BDF and the responsibility it undertakes to defend the nation and its gains and ensure its stability and protect its achievements. He praised the high level reached by the BDF in terms of efficiency and excellence to consolidate Bahrain's major achievements during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. The Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. The establishment of the BDF is considered the beginning of a prominent renaissance in the contemporary history of Bahrain as the BDF carried out the tasks of protecting the kingdom's land, air and sea. Over the course of more than 50 years, BDF's role has been strengthened, enabling it to perform its duties in defending the nation. Since its establishment in 1968, following the order of late Emir of Bahrain, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the BDF played a pivotal national role to protect Bahrain's land by the ground forces with their various units, its air by the Royal Bahraini Air Force, and its sea by the Royal Bahrain Naval Force. The BDF's achievements since its establishment have placed it among the advanced armies in the region. It also has an important national role, which is protecting the kingdom's borders from any external aggression, in addition to defending the kingdom's interests abroad. The lofty goals of establishing the BDF constitutes a push to support brotherly and friendly countries based on a common destiny and the preservation of international peace and security. Bahrain's constitution clearly affirms that peace is the goal of the state and the safety of Bahrain is part of the safety of the Arab world and defending it is a sacred duty of every citizen. The BDF enjoys great support from His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and the extensive achievements it has made to serve and protect the nation. More in this report. Since its establishment, the BDF has been able to establish irrefutable facts about its great ability and professionalism in defending the security of the kingdom, especially since His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, established the Defense Force on a solid foundation of readiness, development, modernization, and integrated organization. For 56 years, the BDF was able to modernize its system, increase its units and weapons, equip its facilities, and raise the efficiency of its personnel. It contributed to the launch of a number of hospitals and specialized medical centers that provide distinguished services at the highest levels. The Bahrain Defense Force also had a generous hand in humanitarian work at the global level and has never failed to provide aid and assistance to any people exposed to disasters or conflicts. On the anniversary of its founding, great meanings were given to a military institution that was able to prove itself and create a high position for itself among regional and international military institutions with its entity protecting and defending the wealth of Bahrain and ensuring its security and stability. The Bahrain Defense Force receives continuous support from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa which enabled it to occupy a distinguished place among its peers from brotherly and friendly countries. More in this report. The continuous support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the Bahrain Defence Force had a significant impact on the development of plans and programs that contributed to raising the efficiency and effectiveness of the Bahrain Defence Force's combat readiness. The continuous visits of His Royal Highness have enabled the Bahrain Defence Force to develop competence and military readiness and training and armament to be the protector of the sovereignty of the nation and its soil. 
The directives of His Royal Highness also led the Bahrain Defense Force to become a model of sacrifice and bravery. In every visit, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister affirms the importance of this military institution as an active partner in preserving developmental gains at all levels. The Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh inaugurated the new uh, redesigned and content-enriched website of the Council, which features a new identity and advanced searches. Al Saleh affirmed that uh, the new website aligns with the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, noting that the new website is a rich resource of information related to the work of the Council and its Secretariat General. The website reflects the efforts of the Council in the national legislative field through a leading and comprehensive digital platform that enhances communication with citizens, reinforcing forcing the principles of consultation and contributing to the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The chairman also highlighted the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for digital development in Bahrain. The King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence in cooperation with the White Flags Association, a number of civil society associations and places of worship held a peace standing event on the occasion of the International Day of Human Fraternity. On this occasion, the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the center, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King and with the support and assistance of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister continues with determination to spread its noble message and demonstrate its moderate approach to humanity. The event represents an opportunity to call for peace and the rejection of violence and hatred and confirms that Bahrain is a land of harmony and will remain a beacon of brotherhood among human beings and a beacon of dialogue between different civilizations and cultures. The Housing and Urban Planning Ministry is keen to organize specialized exhibitions that contribute to introducing housing financing services and programs for citizens. The Housing Finance Exhibition, which will be launched this February, will present the most prominent housing and financing programs proposed by the Ministry. Events and exhibitions are held uh, periodically to introduce housing financing systems and programs in addition to launching and revealing new programs at each event. <laughs> 